Hello everyone, it's Princess and welcome back to my channel! Okay guys, so as you can read on the title, this is going to be a makeup video and sa tagal ko na rin kasi guys na hindi pagka-upload ng video, it's been like 2 weeks kasi I was busy dito sa bahay dahil meron akong hinahandle na business kaya um, filming wasn't my priority pero that doesn't mean na nag-quit na ako sa vlogging it's just nawawala na ako ng time pero here I am now I am now back again with a new video and napansin ko rin kasi guys um, matagal na rin kasi ako hindi nakakagawa ng mga videos that contains any makeup related so Ngayon, gagawa uli ako ng content that is all related about makeup and it's going to be a little different. So guys, nabasa nyo naman yung title. It's going to be My Korean Makeup Look. Hindi ko rin kasi alam guys kung bakit ito yung naisipan kong content. Maybe because kasi wala na rin akong maisip na any makeup related video content. So, inisip ko na why not try to attempt to do a Korean makeup look which is a little different para sa akin. Kasi guys, actually, um, Korean makeup looks are not really my thing. Kasi, when it comes to makeup, I am more of a person that prefers heavy makeup talaga like glam look or thick foundation. So, parang, mas prefer ko kasi yung ganun. Pero this time, it's going to be a little different. Because, Korean makeup looks, they uh, look somehow subtle, soft, and very light lang. So, I will try to attempt doing a light makeup, which is going to be, I don't know, a little different for me, but we'll see about that. So, ayan guys, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So, yeah, nakikita nyo, I have nothing on my face, like really nothing. I have no foundation on or anything. Wala rin akong lipis. Um, my hair, it's buhaghag pa. So, I will put on a hair band para walang buhok na pupunta sa face ko while doing this makeup. So, have my rubber ducky. Not really a rubber. Kasi hindi naman siya rubber. Pero, a duck. Duck ba siya or chicken? Parang yung duck kasi siya. Parang saan. But anyways, ayan, I just have this on. So, for today, I will now start doing it. Tama ba? Okay, so, una muna guys is I'm going to start off with a moisturizer. So, I will apply this one and Matagal nyo na to guys, nakikita sa channel ko at madalas kong ginagamit. So, this is my Aqua Moisturizer Whiting Vita. So, this will act as my moisturizer or base bago ako mag-start off sa iba pang makeup. So, I'm gonna get my mirror here. which is just small one and we'll go and apply this. Itong, um, if you will notice, nakatingin ako sa phone while um, spreading this all over my face. So, this will act as my mirror. <laughs> Kasi ang hirap tumingin sa mirror ko habang kinakalit to sa face ko. So, yeah, this will act as my mirror muna. Tsaka para makita nyo na rin um, paano ko siya ginagawa. guys, so, habang nagsaset yung moisturizer sa face ko, antayin ko muna siya matuyo. I will not go on for my kilay. And, if you're going to search on Google, yung mga kilay kasi usually ng mga Korean, it's just super light lang. So, I will try to achieve that light eyebrow look. Kasi, I usually don't go for that kind of look. Pero, we'll see. We'll try. So, I'm gonna get this brush here. And of course, my um, spoolie. Forgot it right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going brush ko muna yung kilay ko, making sure that these are perfectly brushed. Once my kilay guys are now perfectly brushed, ito yung ginagamit ko for my kilay. So, this is from. Menu Pro and it only has two colors. 
we have here the uh, medium brown and the uh, darkest brown. So, ayan guys, yung two colors. And this is a gel eyebrow. So, siguro dun tayo sa light na lang. Kasi nga, it says there na um, Korean makeup look. Usually go for a lightest look. So, we'll try to make it look light. Okay guys, now the uh, right side of my eyebrows is done and somehow it looks like it's actually a little different na compared dito sa kaliwa ko. So, there is a huge difference and ayan. So, sa kaliwa ko guys, I will just do it off cam para hindi masyadong mahaba yung video. So, happy back with you guys. Wait up. Okay, I am now back. And as you can see guys, nilinis ko na rin muna yung kilay ko. Uh, naglagay ako ng concealer. As you can see, ayan, may mga concealer parts siya dyan. Kasi nilagyan ko siya para ilinis yung mga kalat-kalat sa brows ko. And now, once my brows are done, moving on ako sa uh, mascara. Mascara muna guys, yung uunahin ko. Kasi para pag naglagay ako ng eyeshadow, um, if ever man na malagyan ng mascara, at least may eyeshadow na. Uh, wala na akong lalagyan ng mascara. Ngayon na. Okay, so magmamascara muna ako guys. And as I found out about Korean makeup look, wala naman sila like any pagtatalo sa mascara. However, they don't usually put on false eyelashes. Ayun. Uh, mga Korean kasi they don't usually use that kasi they have like, I don't know, natural brows uh, natural brows? Natural eyelashes and they don't go for false eyelashes kaya di tayo pumunta sa ganun so I'm just going to use a natural one and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I will apply mascara and for my mascara I'll be using this, my all time favorite mascara from Maybelline this is the Hyper Curl Volume Express. And ito talaga yung pinaka go to mascara mascara ko ever. So, first muna guys is of course I'm going to curl my lashes muna para mabuhay yung lashes ko kasi they kind of they're kind of sad dahil matagal ko na sila hindi na um naka curl so I'm gonna curl it muna. Okay, now my lashes are curled. Can you see it? There, it's like really curled na. Um, meron ko saan nakikita sa mga videos na karamihan sa mga beauty bloggers, they usually put mascara first before curling. Ako kasi, um, I curl my lashes bago ako maglagay ng mascara. Pero meron ako nakikita ng ibang beauty bloggers na naglalagay na sila ng mascara. Then, dun pa lang nila curl I don't know which is which, but the important is naglalagay ng mascara. So um, now I'm going to apply my mascara on this part. Ito nyo guys. Ayan. Nalagyan na siya ng mascara. Kaya puti na lang hindi pa ako naglalagay ng eyeshadow. Kasi nga, this happens a lot. That's why naglalagay mo na ako ng mascara bago ako maglagay ng eyeshadow. So, I'll take care of this later. Lalagyan ko muna yung kabila. Okay, mascara is done. As ikasuhin ko muna itong part na yan na lalagyan ng mascara. So, I'll be back with you guys. Wait up. Oh, diba? Problem solved. Nilagyan ko na lang siya ng concealer para hindi siya ganun kahalata. And now, this is it. I am now moving on na sa eyeshadow ko. And... For my eyeshadow, I'm just going to use one color only. Kasi nga, sa mga Korean makeup look, kasi yung eyeshadow nila, it's more of a peachy or pink look. So, dun tayo sa look, uh, pink look. Kasi, wala naman akong peachy something na eyeshadow. So, 
for my mas mascara tuloy. For my eyeshadow, I'll be using this. This is the The Color Workshop Mini Eyeshadow Kit. And this is the colors. Ayan. Diba? Kung makikita nyo, parang mayroong mga pinkish parts. So, ito guys, ang gagamitin ko for my eyeshadow. And I'll be only using one eyeshadow color only. Kasi nga, we're going to achieve that super, super subtle eye look. Hoping na ma-achieve ko nga yun. Kasi nga, like I said, I am more of a glam person talaga. Like, heavy makeups and everything. Yun talaga yung go-to makeup ko. So, itong Korean makeup, it's a new for me. Pero, let's... Okay, guys. For this color, I'm only going to use one color, like I said. And ito, guys. This is the color that I'll be using this. Let me point it. Da. Kasi, guys, if we're going to swatch it, ito yung itsura niya. So, I'm gonna take... Dito na lang. This and gonna swatch it. There you go. So yan siya guys. Pakita ko sa inyo. Can you see it? And this is the color na ilalagay ko sa aking eyes for my eyeshadow. As you can see, it's really, really pink. At saka, it's shimmer na siya guys. It has glitters na rin. So, it's a shimmer eyeshadow. And I think it's good na. So, that is what I'm going to use for my eyeshadow. But before man ako guys maglagay ng eyeshadow, I'll be going to apply this first. This is for my eye concealer kasi nga eyeshadows are powdery para kumapit yung mga yung mga. Para kumapit yung eyeshadow so for this one, I'll be using my Advanced Everbelena Eye Concealer na mabura na yung brand niya kasi nga medyo matagal na to sa akin. Pero, it's still useful pa. Put it here my eye. Other side. I'll just blend it using my finger. Okay, now I am not ready. <laughs> now I am ready to go and apply the eyeshadow. Okay, so na-apply ko na siya and ibe-blend ko siya na onte para medyo mag-calm yung color niya. Hindi siya guys like masyadong kita because of the light. Pero pag bin-blend ko siya siguro baka maging visible na. Pero kung hindi, I'll add another coat of it. Pero let's see na sana this first blend is maging visible na yung pagka-pink niya. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I. Is it visible? Is it there? So, parang anjaan na, pero I'll add another coat pa kasi parang hindi nga masyadong halata. Ayan guys, so parang naging visible na yung pagkaka-pink niya. Ayan. So, as you can see guys, like I said, they always go for the lightest makeup look lang. Kaya nga, I, I don't usually go for this kind of look kasi nga, it's super light. Pero I think it will look good. We will try to make it look good. So now, I am done with the eyeshadow. Move na tayo guys sa foundation. I'm done with my eyebrows. I am done with the eyeshadow. I am now done with my mascara. Now, going na tayo sa ating eyeshadow. Alam mo, labo-labo na nasasabi ko. So going na tayo guys for the foundation. And for my foundation, I'll be using this. Another brand of Maybelline. This is the Dream Velvet Soft Matte. Yes, guys, you heard me. It's a matte foundation. But don't worry, because nga, ang mga Korean look ko sir, mga Korean makeup look, they usually go for the glass look. Yung parang something a shiny look ganon. So, they don't usually go for the matte. Kaya, gagawa natin ng paraan yan. Don't worry. So, for now, mag apply mo na ako ng aking foundation from Maybelline. Gonna just apply few amount here. I think this is good na. Kasi medyo ano to eh. Um, a little goes a long way. So, gonna get this all together. Now, I will apply it on my face.
Okay guys, now I'm done with the foundation. Doon na tayo sa aking concealer and another friend of Maybelline din is the Fit Me Concealer na 50-50 na ang buhay. Kasi unting-unti na lang siya guys. Parang nandito na lang yung amount niya. Pero ayoko kasi magsayang at meron pa siya. Actually, ang dami pang laman nito. Kaya go pa rin sa concealer na ganitong kaunti. Bawal magsayang ngayon guys. Quarantine. Mahirap bumili. So, now I'm going to apply this on my imperfection. Usually, din naman like super rame. Unting amount na lang. Actually, guys, yung mga Korean kasi, they don't actually apply concealer that much. Kasi super perfect na ng skin nila eh, Dahil sa dami-dami ba naman nilang mga skincare products. So, Super perfect na skin nila, kaya no need na maglagay ng mga, you know, concealer to cover up the imperfection. Kasi, halos wala naman guys cover sa kanila kasi ang perfect na skin nila. Halos lahat ng mga skincare products ko, doon nagmumula sa mga Korean shop. Kasi, ang dami talaga nilang mga skincare products. Now guys, going to blend this na para cover up yung mga imperfections na meron ako. Okay guys, concealer and foundation are now done. And gaya nga na sinabi ko guys, kasi dahil medyo matte siya ng onte And Korean makeup looks don't usually go for a matte look. Kaya we are going to find a way to make it look like a glass makeup look. So, I have here my makeup setting spray. Ito makeup setting spray ko guys. This is, a not, this is not matte finish, but this is actually a glossy dewy effect. And so, this is a dewy effect. So, hindi siya matte. And it's perfect kasi it will leave like a total glass skin look. Kaya, let's spray this all over my face. Okay. Now, gonna wait for like siguro 5 minutes para ma-absorb ng face ko yung product. So, let's wait guys for 5 minutes. Yeah, guys. So five minutes has already passed, and now you can see the difference. You know, parang medyo nagshine shine na siya, kasi ngayon din nasa matte finish anymore. Yeah, so nagkaroon talay tayo ng glass skin, which is a good one, kasi nga we are trying to achieve the Korean makeup look. Okay, guys. Now that is all done. Malapit na tayo guys matapos, kasi only two steps na lang. So for of course the second to the last step is the blush. For my blush, I'm going to use this one. This is my Autumn Organic Clay Blush na medyo nagkanda. Parang dinaanan ng bagyo yung packaging niya. Pero this is what it looks like. And para pag iniswatch siya, ito guys yung itsura niya. See? Ito siya guys. This. Super subtle lang. Ayan. So, super light lang niya guys. Tignan. Kaya perfect siya for my blush on this look. So, I'm just going to use my finger na lang para matansya ko siya. Ito siya, guys. Then, pag in-apply siya sa face, syempre, kailangan dahan-dahan lang yung pag-blend. Okay, natapos na tayo sa clay blush and yan, medyo super light nga lang. I'm trying to not ruin the look. So, I tried to apply like the simplest light. However, I tried, achieve ko naman siya pa paano. And now, done na ako sa clay, clay blush and this is now guys, the last step is for the lips. And we can all know guys na yung mga lipstick or yung mga lipis na mga Korean is hindi siya yung ganun super full. 
like there's still a light plump here so we're going to achieve that achieve that and try to achieve it so gagamit tayo ng lip tint which is yun talaga yung pinaka famous na tint sa mga korea it korean mga lip tints so i'm going to use this one and this is in a brand of via setico via via set ko lang pala i'm sorry so this is a via setico premium matte stain and this is in a shade of inya guys is ayesha and let's swatch it ito guys yung itsura niya pag i-swatch ko siya yan siya guys ito yung itsura niya once it's been swatched and super vibrant ng color niya. Pero, of course, I will only apply a light lang para hindi ganun ka kapal yung amount. So, I'm going to just apply a few amount of this and ibe-blend ko sa aking lips. And it's now done guys! Ito na yung full makeup look for the Korean makeup look. My own Korean makeup look kasi gawa-gawa ko lang to guys. And ayan, ito na itsura niya. So para talaga magmukha akong Korean is I'm going to fix my hair muna. Kasi hindi naman talaga ganito yung eyes ng buko. So wait up. So, ayun guys, that is all for my Korean makeup look. And yes, to be honest, I don't look like really Korean kasi hindi naman ako guys singkit. Ang layo ng mata ko sa pagiging singkit. But however, I feel proud kasi I was able to achieve this kind of look which I never really thought na ma-achieve ko siya. Kasi nga, this kind of look is not really like my really go-to kasi nga super light. However, it does look good to me kasi parang super simple lang yung tignan at sobrang sobrang calm. Parang ka ang kalmado lang sa mukha. Tsaka ang fresh. So, kung meron kayo guys, mga gala sa friend, ano, mga gala with your friends, kung ano, may pupuntahan kayo and you wanna look presentable, well, I suggest you do this kind of look. So, ayun guys, that is all for today's makeup video and I hope you enjoy watching. So, if you do, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up Comment down below what you think about this video and also don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos and kung hindi nyo pa guys sa papunod ng aking recent upload na video, it will be just here. Nandiyan lang yan sa screen and kung hindi pa kayo guys nakakapag-subscribe, you can click my profile just here. Dito pala guys, hindi dito. Here. Yung profile ko na yun na below, you can just click it and click subscribe. So that is all for today guys and I'll see you on my next video. Stay safe. Stay at home, always wear face mask, and always put on alcohol. Stay safe. Bye!